up guys welcome back to another video uh, today's video is both physical and emotional and spiritual okay and what I mean by that is we're gonna talk about soft tissue work and what soft tissue work is is acupuncture uh, massage acupressure foam rolling stretching uh, literally things that you will do to open up the muscle tissue all the soft tissues all this tension and shit that you carry up here in your neck all that stuff this is about moving these tissues and mobilizing and releasing the energy within your muscles so that you can move more freely this will be especially important and applicable to you if you're someone who has a lot of like aches and pains in your body from just moving around or if you have begun working out or you work out and all of a sudden you're getting these like weird things like your hands are feeling numb and your you know nerve endings are messing with you or like you do this one exercise and your shoulders pinching and you're like well I'm just not gonna do that exercise <laughs> if this is if that's you then this this video is especially what you want to listen to so what is happening and why we need to do soft tissue work now that we've spoken about it well why don't we go to the what so the what soft tissue work is massage acupuncture uh, again foam rolling stretching these things so what you're doing is you're literally going in and you're massaging you're releasing these uh, these knots the uh, actual word for it is adhesions adhesions just mean not so your muscles are like these you know smooth silky sexy uh, like you know tissues that kind of go together like this that's how it should be when you got a knot that knot is like this all of a sudden so now you got this shit and it doesn't move as freely you see what I'm saying so this is a knot in your muscle and what the soft tissue work is when you go and you massage it or you do acupuncture all of a sudden that tension releases now where do these knots come from what is that about so it comes in a couple of different ways so uh, the one and this is where I was talking about the spiritual and emotional side of things is that when you are stressed at work or when you have an argument with your lover or when you got money problems or whatever it is when you are stressed what's happening is that is energy accumulating in your body right you'll sit there and you go my neck is so tight like you're sitting down all day and like all this and this is all tight and crap and you're like Jesus man like I got all these knots up here I got knots up here shoot we all do so what's happening is if you don't release this stress in a healthy way uh, and there's a million ways to do it it might just be meditation it might be journaling it might be taking a bath it might be you know um, again getting a massage things like this this is what allows you to release that stress you can have a drink every once in a while right and that brings me to another point that I'll touch on in a second but as far as the soft tissue work goes what's happening is stress is accumulating in your body so you've got to go back and you basically have got to do massage um, and acupuncture foam rolling or stretching or exercise or whatever to release this mental and emotional stress that your body is having right uh, obviously from actual physical work your body the soft tissues can get really tight as well so if you're like a construction worker or you know you sit in a desk all day just from sitting there right and you're uh, maybe you're not drinking enough water things like this all of a sudden just that tight position and not moving around not letting oxygen to get in there and open up the tissues they start gluing together they start getting sticky uh, between the emotional stress and just whatever stuck positions or soreness again if you're not working this out what's happening is the tissues just simply aren't moving freely and when they don't move freely what happens is you start moving in a different way your natural movement patterns get impeded and when your movement patterns get impeded right like let's take it like this if you had an ankle sprain or you really had a bad knee surgery one time if you don't consciously work on uh, restoring that movement pattern you're always gonna have this compensation where in the back of your mind you're like oh I don't want to move my right knee because my right leg because oh god I had that surgery I don't want to re-injure it the irony is you have to focus on it and work through the pain and the scar tissue to restore mobility and have that tissue work that's what physical therapy is or part of what it does and the reason you have to do this is because if you don't then you're creating a muscle imbalance if you're creating a muscle imbalance and uh, all of a sudden your movement patterns are gonna be thrown off even more to where all of a sudden your left leg is extra strong and extra tight because 
you didn't want to learn how to use your right knee uh, because you're afraid of hurting it again, right? So again, muscle imbalances, uh, it creates extra stress on your muscle tissues, the tissues get moved to get, you know, glued together, and then all of a sudden you're moving weird. You're moving weird, and then you're just creating stress on more areas, and then other areas are atrophying because they're not being used. You see how this is all working together? So to bring it back around and focus on what we're talking about, it's about soft tissue work. So if you're really tight, you've got to do these different things, these different modalities, again, massage, acupuncture, foam rolling, uh, and really learn to penetrate into the muscle. And it's not gonna be comfortable because what you're doing is you're literally removing the stress from the muscle. But what you're doing when you're really penetrating the tissue is you're releasing that stuck energy. You're all of a sudden untangling the knots and the knots are allowing you to move more freely. And so what this does, the benefit of it is, again, you start to restore normal movement patterns. You start to create more balance in your body and the way that you move and in your muscles. And when you do that, everything is working nice and fluidly as a system. As you do that, you're taking pressure off of your joints so you won't have as much joint pains you'll be able to just kind of move easier and be less stressed in general probably you know if you're in aches and pains all the time you basically have this low level of traumatic stress going on all the time and whether you realize it or not that just might be your reality so you're so used to it and you're like oh it's just the way it is it's not just the way it is you got to work on that shit and if you work on that shit it'll get better and if it gets when it gets better you go oh okay so i don't have to be in pain all the time no you don't and here's the thing too, and this is where, uh, again, the spiritual and emotional component comes in, but if you're watching any other videos on my channel, you kind of got the already gist of, of how I roll, like what I'm about. It is, it's mind, body, spirit, it's the trinity, it's the connection, this shit all works together. So if you're stressed out, okay, um, and you are sitting here the whole time, you got a knot up here for like a week, maybe that was because that was the argument that you had with your boss or your lover and you're still holding on to that shit. Okay, over time, you might go have a drink or whatever, and then all of a sudden, it just like loosens up a little bit, but it didn't really go away, it's still in there. So you've got to learn to handle your emotional and mental stress as well as your physical stress because it does get stuck in the body. The weird thing is, is sometimes when you do these things, and that's why physical exercise is so good because it's a, a release, a healthy outlet for us to get rid of this emotional and mental energy that otherwise may be stuck on our bodies. Uh, but you know what will happen is sometimes if you've ever got a massage um, or you've done acupuncture things like this what will happen is you'll have these weird emotions come up man you'd be like I'm all sad all of a sudden or like you're all angry or where's this coming because again what's happening emotionally or energetically is that emotion is getting stuck all up in here so all that clenching in your jaw that oh that you that like anger dude that's anger like stuck in your jaw so if you literally just take your fingers and probably go like this if you're an angry person you're super frustrated dude this shit probably hurts it's probably tight and just relax your muscle and really like push into the big jaw muscles right here i bet you all seem to be like damn okay this is weird like this is weird but like it kind of makes sense but like i don't really understand him or whatever's going on but but hear hear me out you got to do the soft tissue work you got to release the stress in your body and uh, just be mindful that emotional uh, emotions and feelings might come up because it might be stuck emotional energy, not from just uh, repetitive physical stress like your lower back being tight because you sit down all day, right? Or your butt falling asleep because you're in a chair for eight hours a day or whatever it is. Uh, you know, we carry a lot of tension. Most everybody carries the most tension in their hips, their butt, and then up here on their upper traps and then in their neck and their jaw, like up here, right? So the mental stress, if you're someone who's always in your head, you're probably really up here. You're probably really like, eh, right? You're grinding your jaw and your teeth and crap. Um, so that's a lot of like repressed anger and stuff like that as far as emotional energy goes. So open this stuff up, try to release it, try to relax. Uh, this is the importance of soft tissue work. Uh, so what I recommend doing and uh, part of the reason this is coming up is one of my online clients the other day was telling me like he's just starting on his program, he's lifting weights. We had our first check-in call the other day and he was telling me about all um, these different aches and pains and weird things that are happening with his body. And I was like, I was like, the good news is like you're all good. It's, it's basically all 
uh, they're all symptoms like his shoulder feeling weird and a little numbness in his hand it's all symptoms of the same underlying thing there's just his his tissues are all glued together because he hasn't worked out and he's just been stressed out uh, you know just tons of like you know old drinking and smoking all that crap is stuck in you man you got to release it all it's just all stuck energy so you got to release <clears throat> these glued tissues uh, if you want an actual physical there's a couple of resources that I'll recommend as well. So to understand the emotional component and how our body is storing this screwed up energy, these traumas, there's a book called The Body Keeps Score. Uh, and basically it's about how we store our body, just like the book says, keeps score of every emotional encounter, every trauma, uh, both positive and negative, whatever, in our body. We store that energy. So unless we release that trauma in different ways it might come out it becomes out as a physical manifestation sometimes it's like disease and conditions by no means and let me put that disclaimer out there my, by no means am I saying am I a doctor or am I a, you know a therapist and a licensed in any way I'll say that and then also in it and I am in no way saying that your condition is not real and it's just all in your mind or man that's quite the opposite I'm just saying I've noticed a connection between the mental and emotional stress that we experience as human beings and how it's stored in the body and there's actual documentation and scientific data that backs us up. The Body Keeps Score will do a much, that book will do a much better job explaining it than I am as well. Two other resources, books that I like, that I recommend, uh, You Are the Placebo, Dr. Joe Dispenza, and Becoming Supernatural, Dr. Joe Dispenza. You can also just watch a bunch of his stuff to get understand what he's about on YouTube and just type that stuff in. Um, if you want actual like nuts and bolts, well, how the hell do I unglue this tissue? How do I undo this? You can buy any general massage therapy, acupuncture book, um, and just start starting to understand meridians and pressure points on the body. They're called pressure points for a reason. The way our body is designed, we store energy in certain points of our body. If we release the tension in that certain point, all of a sudden, everything starts working more freely. It's just all about opening everything up so you move freely, feel better, and we are less stressed. It's just all about a well-being, right? Um, another specific resource that I'll recommend, and this is more, um, I guess, uh, physical therapy, workout training related, but I feel like this should be a required reading for every personal trainer or physical therapy. Uh, the book is called Becoming a Supple Leopard by Dr. Kelly Starrett. Uh, there's a second version of it. I'm just reading through it right now. But it's basically actual nuts and bolts and techniques and things you do in order to unglue and unstick the tissues so that you can restore joint mobility and have some pain relief. Uh, those are what I recommend. So soft tissue work is important. Your mental stress, your emotional stress, it is connected to your body and vice versa. Stuff you're putting on your body uh, can manifest mentally. Um, you know, the, again, like if you're sitting here and you never repaired your knee and it's just is always like really weird underlying like numb pain, well then shit dude, all that is gonna wear on you mentally over time because you're just like uncomfortable all the time like because your just knee or your hips always bugging you. See what I'm saying? So it's all connected. Uh, just start educating yourself. Open your mind to looking into these things if it's something that you want to relieve. Specifically, if you're someone who's super emotionally or mentally stressed out, dude, your body is probably all tight, tightened up. And if you are um, someone who has a lot of aches and pains in your body, it might be some emotional and mental energy. But, and there's things you can do to start helping your body and heal yourself. It's about what all this is about i'm realizing my channel and all this information it's about learning to heal yourself and it may or may not work for you i'm just here to share my experience personally from what i've healed through mentally emotionally spiritually and physically um, i do have some level of expertise with the actual physical body but again through my experience i've noticed that there are these uh, themes, these trends, these relationships between your mind, your body, your spirit, uh, you know, all these different situations. So uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me. Uh, I'll put my email in the description below. Um, you can follow me on Instagram. It is mostly workout nutrition stuff, but I have started to put a little bit more of the, I guess, uh, mental um, social constructs, uh, I guess the spiritual personal development stuff on there as well. Um, and I'll put a link or my name, whatever, in um, the description below as well. So I hope this helps. 
please feel free to reach out, leave a comment if you have any questions. Uh, would love it if you like if you like it, great. Um, share it with someone if you think this is helpful, it resonates with you. Uh, love would love for you to subscribe. Would be super grateful for that as well. Um, big reason of this, right? In complete transparency, of course, I want to grow my channel. Um, I want to help as many people as possible. And when you like and subscribe, it helps to get out into the YouTube algorithm. Uh, we can share this with more people and help people learn to heal themselves, which is what this is about. So thank you for listening. I love you. I appreciate you. And stay tuned. I will see you next time.